Hi, my name is Emmy, and I'm one of the co-designers of Dungeon Attack. And this video is going to give you an overview of the game, different components, and how it plays. So, uh, to start off, I want to show you what the game comes with. First thing, it comes with 16 dice, shown right here. It comes with four adventurer cards, the Mighty Warrior, the Sneaky Thief, the Mystic Wizard, and the Crusading Cleric, and some plain tokens that represent gold and magical items. So what we first do is we take all the adventurer cards and flip them upside down, and each player selects one randomly. Of course you can do uh, however way you want it. Uh, for this example we're going to use the Mighty Warrior. Uh, each adventurer um, has uh, a picture of the uh, adventurer. It's got a special ability and it's got a number, the attack rating. Uh, and the attack rating is the maximum number of monsters that it can kill per roll. As you can see the Mighty Warrior can kill up to three dice. So what we do is, we, for this uh, dungeon level, we're going to use 14 dice. The two red dice represents big monsters, and those we're going to set aside because they do have uh, their own special ability and they are a little harder to kill. So in this dungeon, we'll have 14 monsters, and they start off in the dungeon room. And uh, we'll do, this players decide who's going to go first. And in this case, we'll say the Mighty Warrior will go first. And he grabs all the dice and rolls them. Basically, he's busting the door. So we roll all the dice, and we sort them out by their symbols. Uh, the skulls are called uh, dead monsters, and those are killed. And they are set aside next to the adventurer, and they will be used later on to find treasure. The footprint are moving monsters, and those are monsters that have fled the dungeon, uh, scared of the adventurer or that have moved to other players. Uh, whoever's playing the Mighty Warrior can uh, send them back to the dungeon room or they can split them however they like to different players. Okay, in this case we're going to put them all back in the dungeon room. The remaining dice that have the symbol of the sword are fighting monsters. And those remain with the adventurer from turn to turn until they are either killed or they have fled the dungeon. Um, then uh, the Play goes around the table from player to player until all the monsters have fled. And uh, that's when the adventure, uh, the, the level is cleared and you go to the treasure phase. In this case, we have the Mighty Warrior has three kills. And during the treasure phase, he would roll all three. And any swords he rolls represents a gold that he's found. So in this case, two gold he would get for this level. And every time a skull or a defeated monster is rolled during a treasure phase, he finds a magical item. And uh, those are worth three gold pieces at the end of the game. Also, magical items allow uh, an adventurer to re-roll a dice. So, <clears throat> that is pretty much an overview of the game rules. Uh, there are other actions you can take, um, but those will be uh, shown later on in a different video. So thank you very much for uh, uh, taking your time and watching this video. And uh, I hope uh, this will help you uh, decide to help us fund this Kickstarter project.